hello everyone welcome back to sun innovate youtube channel and again we are back with a new video on a class b commutation of thyristor in a first part we have discussed about the class a commutation and we have also seen the advantage and the disadvantage also we have seen the application and uh, one more thing we have discussed that what is a force commutation because uh, again i am telling you that the force commutation it is a technique which which we are going to discuss uh, the in a part 1 also that uh, we are using the additional component like inductor capacitor and the resistor also to make the forcefully turn off the scr by using the additional component so that's why it is name given as a force commutation and uh, those uh, who have not seen our video first part please go to the class a commutation because we have discussed the more important and the and the application of the uh, the class a commutation and the brief knowledge about the commutation method so please go to the part 1 and uh, watch that video because it is important factor we have discussed in that video now in this video we are going to discuss about the class b commutation so uh, as you can see in a matlab simulation here i have seen the uh, use the circuit uh, as per the theory so let move to the theory so this is the theory diagram you can see here so dc supply is connected with the scr and the parallel lc series resonance is connected across the scr and uh, one more resistance as a load resistance is connected with the scr and the negative voltage uh, uh, terminal is connected with the resistance and uh, have focus on this waveform so as you can see this uh, small portion of the gate current which is given to the scr so your scr is going to start conducting in this way so this is the load current as you can see second graph shows the load current so once the gate pulse is given to the scr so it start conducting in this direction so this uh, this all limb is short circuited and uh, that time your inductor and capacitor is got a charging condition and uh, once it got fully charged so now this inductor and capacitor have sufficient voltage Uh, which is greater than the input voltage so forcefully this sign is going to reverse like this way and uh, negative point will be connected anode with the scr and positive will connected the cathode with the scr so that time your uh, scr anode current which is satisfied the condition to make the turn off the scr that is a uh, the minimum current which is required to make turn off the scr that is known as a holding current so that time your anode current is going to become the less than the holding current so that's why scr is going to turn off so this is the concept which we are going to develop this simulation and i mean i have already de developed this simulation so you can also connect uh, see i am not going to um, uh, show you that how i have connected because it is a very basic so if if you check my sim, uh, simulation videos in my youtube channel so i have given the complete guidance of this uh, matlab simulation so now we are in a stage that i am not going to discuss and show you that how do i uh, i have connected this component and I, how i founded this uh, uh, the component uh, from the simulink library because uh, you just refer my old videos so you will be find that how i am finding this and searching this component so it is important that i am discussing and sharing the knowledge about this uh, method and the working of circuit so it is important i think so that's why we are focusing on these things so now you see here the dc supply uh, which is connected with the scr and the parallel lc resonance tank is connected across the scr as per the class b commutation and the resistance is connected uh, the scr with the series as the load resistance and uh, this is the gate pulse and uh, you can see this is gate pulse signals i have used the go to and from signal uh, by using the wireless system and uh, this is the output voltage signal this is output current so i'm going to run this simulation to observe the result so now let me open the scope so here you can see the first graph shows the dc supply and the second graph shows the gate pulse yellow line so you can see here this is the yellow line shows the gate pulse which is given to the scr and the third graph that is a red graph which is showed the output voltage so the last one that is output current so now it is time to explain this waveform so this is a dc supply and when the gate pulse is given during this period 
okay so this is obviously 50% duty cycle so during this period the gate pulse is given to the scr so it start conducting like this way you just focus my cursor here you can see this portion so output voltage is going to turn on because scr is turned on now and the it start conducting like this way and my input voltage was 500 so my output voltage is also become the 500 at after the rising time because the capacitor was connected across the SCR that's why this slope is connect, uh, showing like this way and this is the output voltage and uh, you see here when I have removed the gate pulse okay so this is not the voltage control device so don't think that I have uh, removed the gate pulse so that's why SCR is going to turn off no because I have selected and chosen the value of inductor and capacitor in a such a way that it compulsory has to stop at the 0.5 value. So this is the concept and this is the point actually to make the forcefully uh, the SCR turn off. It is not like that. Must remember it is not like that and never like that if you remove the gate pulse it is got automatically off. It is not happen in a natural way. You need to decide the value of inductor and capacitor for making the forcefully commutation or forcefully turn off the SCR. So please guys don't get confused that I, I have removed the gate pulse so that side is going to turn off. It is nothing like that because I have selected the particular point of commutation point. It means the conduction of SCR area I have selected based on the value of inductor and capacitor. Okay. So once uh, this is the way I can explain these things. So once the gate pulse is removed, so I I don't have the control on the gate pulse because it is a DC supply. So here at this point, my naturally commutation it means capacitor got fully charged at that at this point. So that's why it got commutated. It means now anode current is become zero like this way. It suddenly goes to the zero value and it is completely turned off. Now once at this point 0.5 time okay so this is the point 0.5 at this point SCR is got completely turned off now I have the right I have the authority to again the turn on the SCR because once it get commutated once it get turned off so again at that after this point I can turn on again the SCR because it is got turned off okay so at this point again I have given the gate pulse so you can see the SCR is turned on and again turn off turn on and turn off so this is all about the commutation so you see here this point this point and this point these two points are force commutated point okay and that point are selected the based on value of LC which I have connected parallel with the SCR if you change this point so your off point will be also going to change okay so you need to also redesign your gate pulse because once your gate pulse is turned off so there is a no any control of the gate pulse on the SCR even if even you give the gate pulse it won't be going to turn on because that time the SCR was in condition of natural commutation so this is all about the class B commutation and uh, the comparison between class A and class B commutation that there is a path of discharge of capacitor in a previous case I have shown you that once your capacitor got commutated and uh, the anode current become the less than the holding current so that time there is a no path once your SCR got turned off there is a no path to discharge the capacitor so here there is a path actually once your SCR is going to turn off so this this way the circuit is completed like this way the DC supply is across the inductor capacitor and resistor so you can complete the path and your capacitor have the path to discharge through the load so that's why the signal is shows the continuity in a previous case the one cycle I have shown because of the reason that the capacitor doesn't have the part to complete the discharge so this is all about the class B commutation and uh, this things is also used in inverter and uh, again the disadvantage is that is a uh, for the high voltage you will be required the huge amount of inductor and capacitor so it would be bulky and the resonance problem is of course it will be there because of uh, spike voltage across the capacitor and the, sometimes the SCR also got damaged because of the spike uh, voltage across the capacitor and uh, 
it is a much more important thing for the scr competition i so i think so because uh, it is important thing in power electronics so i hope you like this uh, video and if you have the doubts and come uh, please comment to the this video and like this video if you like this and uh, please do not forget to share to your engineering student and the researcher and the industry people okay thank you thank you very much